are recording. We are not live for the first time in a long time, uh, but that's a good thing. <laughs> um, right. So, welcome to the Human Review. Well, I'm not really, I, I really hate, I hate that name, but I, but I am, re- I'm not really reviewing him as a human being, but uh, the working actor, the inspiration to to me, legend Damian oh. Simmons. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for that introduction there, brother. Appreciate it. And hey, thank you for having me on the human review. And I'm a weird human, so this should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I, I would never even think of you as a, a, a weird person. I would just think of, but I got I want to find out the weird because I love weird. Um, I, I yeah. uh, you know, you, I met you when we were acting, uh, when I was acting in back in 2012 on a shoot That's and, crazy. which is insane Long ago. Long ago. and you are still <laughs> acting and you have a play that's coming out in october october september it? actually now it's going to be moved september. To september now okay so we have september as the new date for this and but i want to get let's start let's zoom back i'm going to go all the way back we'll go as yeah. and, and if we need to step out step out and do another one of these this might be the final podcast that i ever do but if i need to do multiple wow. ones with you i'll do it uh hey anything you need bro anytime awesome. you need me. i like it let's zoom back to the very beginning can you just tell me actually let's talk about you right now can you introduce yourself uh tell us tell tell the the human review listeners who are you legend who, who who's who is absolutely legend simmons <laughs> no doubt. So I'm legend Damian Simmons, born and raised in Newark, New Jersey, graduate of arts high school. Believe it or not, even though I do acting now, um, all of my school life, I was actually taking music. Uh-huh. So music with instruments and music with vocals. So, what? you know, did a lot of that. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to do some music <laughs> and stuff. All right. Uh, uh, definitely. We could get together because I know you got your band and everything. Yeah. So I definitely want to get on that. Definitely. Um yeah, so, you know, just grew up, you know, regular kid, you know, kind of responsible type. Um, my mother was very protective because basically in our family, um, I think I'm the only one of my siblings that mm-hmm. actually walked across the stage and got my diploma and graduated from high school. No I think everybody else. Way. Absolutely. And I got, what, six siblings, one deceased, God rest his soul. Yeah, and so my, it was very important for my mother and my mother for me to graduate. So when I was a kid, she didn't let me participate in anything. She wanted me straight on school. Mm. So I wasn't in martial arts class till I got out of high school. I wasn't wow. in studying wow. to be pro wrestling until I got out of high school. Wow. And the main thing, um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. as weird as it may sound, the one reason why I wanted to get into acting was because I was going. I thought that it would help me have money to take care of my parents. Mm. Okay. So I never wanted to be like the next Arnold Schwarzenegger or Wesley Snipes <laughs> or Sylvester Stallone. You know what I'm saying? And I still I know. don't to be honest you, bro. Yeah. I like, you know, I, my favorites in the movies was always, the, you, they call them that guys. Yeah. You watch that, you watch every movie and you see that guy. Um, what's my man's name from um, from all the Quentin Tarantino movies? Yeah. Uh, what's what's his name? What's he look like? I'll tell you. Mexican. Uh, <laughs> Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo, exactly. He started off as one of those that guys. You yeah. saw, you go back and look at these movies, you see him in the background and everything until he got promoted up and now he, he's starring his own things. So, you know, that's kind of like what I wanted to be. Some of my favorite actors wasn't even like the star stars, but they just be in these movies and it would make me watch because I already know they're going to have a great performance. Right. So, right. yeah, so that's basically where I came from. Um, when I was in high school, me and uh, my classmate, uh, Frankie, how you doing? That's my, I always consider her my first ever co-star. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and, and, gotcha. right. And we had to do this project. It was for English, but we had to act out. I don't remember what the specific was, but it was something that we read in like English literature, or whatever. And we had to perform it and basically make it modern. And we did it. Everybody enjoyed it. And between that and I had a couple of friends that was into acting behind the scenes and they made it sound so exciting. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. But my mother wouldn't let me get into any of that till after high school. So as soon as I graduated, jumped in my car, drove up to the agency. Wow. Really? Okay. Okay. Yep. So um, that's basically where that began. Um, went through the agency in Wayne, New Jersey. 
and uh, met up with some great friends. I wish I would have known you back then, bro, because you would have fit right in with oh, all yeah. of us. I think we're, we're disconnected, or did we lose we signal? Lost, we lost signal for a second, but guess what? Yeah, I yeah. could just I... cut that part out, and we could just go right back from where we were, because I'm, I'm, I'm a little faster. I'm a little editor now. So you said that... Uh, I... You you uh you were saying that you were you met a crew at this place the agency which I don't know I don't know I don't know about the agency so you 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 were in you met a crew, a crew and you said I would fit in and then cut out so go ahead and start from there okay gotcha right so it's an agency in Wayne New Jersey I don't know if they're there they were Fox Talent at first when I first went there then they changed to Universal Talent I don't know what they're called now even if they're still there I've actually been wanting to go check them out um. But yeah, so basically what I would do, they would get us move, you know, they would get us gigs, things like that. My actual first thing they sent me on um, was an audition for rap, believe it or not. It was, um, it is going to sound like I'm so damn old, but <laughs> this is back when they were bringing out the little mini disc, the Sony mini disc that you could <laughs> record or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, see, so it's way back. And um, my agency sent me in. They're like, do you rap? I'm like, yeah, I rap a little, like, you know. So I go in, so I'm in here in this audition with this other guy. Right. And this guy comes right. in with the gold chain. He got the manager with him. He got the bling on. Oh, he got like the shades on. He's just like all the way. He, he, yeah. he was a fit too. He was 24-7. Yeah. Like me, right. is just like, I'll fill in with somebody needs. Right, right. So when we get here, like I'm the type of rap, I'm not really a good freestyler. But if you give me a topic, I can sit down, I can write something up, and then I can spit it. Really? So when okay. The, is that how you out? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So when the people come out, and they're like, oh, he's like, yeah, well, I got my manager about to drop this album next week, or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, he can go first. I just need to know what you want me to rap about, and then I can write it. Right. So he goes in, he does his thing. They call me in. I spit the rap. They love it. They said it's actually maybe even better than the one they already had. Oh. Um, with that guy, with the, with the, right. with the freestyler. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Exactly. So what I wrote, they thought was kind of cool. Yeah. So um, <laughs> now this is where happen. fate steps in. Okay. Because that could have been my first commercial. I could have bypassed all the shit that we done gone through lately. Um, so what happened? What happens is there's like a, a, a hurricane or something. It was oh! the first time I've ever seen that in Jersey, the day I got called back for the you know recall. And I try to walk it. I'm trying to drive it. Like the water's just up to like my ankles. I'm okay. like, this ain't going to happen. Like by the time I get them, I'm going to be soaked. So. And then I asked them, like, okay, does it matter about this step? Whatever, like, it's a hurricane going on. Oh, the show must go on. That's right. what I was told, right? Okay. That sounds familiar, okay. right? Yes, yes, it Right, does. so the show yes, must yes, go on. Course. So I missed out on that, but, you know, kept continuing throughout. And I've met some great friends. Shouts out to yourself. Shout out to uh, Derek Alberti, Bo West. Um, great guys that we're still friends to this day from meeting at the agency all that long ago. Really? And remember, that was years before really? I met you in 2012. Yep, definitely. We're wow. friends. Their family wow. is our, my family, vice versa. Yeah. What, what, so, what year was that? That had to be 99 or 2000, probably 2000, either 99 or 2000. That's how far back it goes. That's, yeah, that's kind of how old I am. Though. 99, 2000. Hey, no, no, <laughs> dude. Age is, who cares about, about age? Uh, the, right. You know, uh, age. I'm is, young in my heart, and I'm kind of young here in the mind, so somewhat. So yeah. I'm good. I'm permanently young in the, young in the, in the, uh, in the, in the brain, uh, unfortunately, stuck it. Uh, I think I'm stuck at a way younger than I, I should be. But you know, I turned thirty this year, and so like it's it's a it's a milestone oh, year. You know? so, thirty this year. Yeah. I forget that you're that younger than me, bro. Like you, I really get that. You do you for, wow. you forgot that really? Do you feel? Do I not I feel like I'm, I'm I'm that age? Yeah. No, like you yeah. keep yourself mature, but you like to have a good time. That's why we click. Like, you know, yes, I yes. know when to put my phone on. I know when to let the little kid inside come out, you right. know? Exactly. Talent. Yeah, I believe in life. That's, that's it. That's the whole That's yeah. the whole thing, right? That's okay, Absolutely. So, you, okay, so I want to know about this. Uh, so I, I think I, I misunderstood. So you, you, you get this gig. You write this, you write this, you write, uh, you write your, your, your freestyle, right? And, uh, it turns out better than an improvised freestyle. Surprise, surprise. Somebody who can sit there and write can, is, <laughs> and take their time and, right. uh, uh, to come up with something is better than someone who's coming up with something just on the spot. Wow. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, I, it makes sense to me. You know what I mean? And it, it, right. it, just, it that's such a great story. And so you get the gig and then the hurricane happens. But you, you're, you're soaked, so you can't make it. Is that the so? Uh, that's yeah, I tried. So I wasn't crazy about driving in the rain. Actually, the, the very first accident I ever got in, 
um, was in the rain. You know, I was coming around the corner because I love to take the corners with speed. And um, I was coming around the corner and wound up hydroplaning oh and hitting, God. like, the little barrier there. So oh. I, I, even to this day, I'm all that crazy about driving in the rain. So this is like a hurricane. And remember, I got to drive all the way into New York. I'm just like, okay, can can't happen. So I was going to try to take the train out. But I was soaked before I even got from the car. So it just wasn't going to happen. So, you know, um, went on with the agency. I was actually in a Toxic Avenger movie. Oh, no way. <laughs> Out the trauma they gave me my first start um their tv show they used to have on nbc in, in england okay. prime time and, and they gave me my first speaking role and i actually freestyled all of it yep so um yeah i definitely you know uh mr kaufman trauma i definitely thank y'all i trauma entertainment i will always have a special place in my heart yeah. for them because they yeah. gave me my start, they gave me a chance. So, and my friends, my buddies from the from the agency, they were there too, involved in it. So it was cool. Wow. So the folks at the agency, like, like usually, like, I so I you know I got hooked up with an agency kind of later on, and I didn't really meet anybody else at my agency, uh, and uh, it was so hard to get into. Oh my god. <laughs> I, yeah. uh, it was just, and then and then uh, the and uh, oof, it, I. Ugh, I, I have a lot to say, but I'm not gonna say it because, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, hey. Let's just let's say, Man. let's say get this, it out there. Yeah, yeah. At some point, at some point, let's see if these guys can actually get me an audition. All right, because uh, uh, <laughs> because they took me in after I got I booked a commercial, and then like, uh, and then and then after that, the the commercial auditions were slim slim comes. But more importantly. You made friends with with the people at your agency. I never meet met anybody at my agency. My I met my agent after I like harangued him to to, to get me in. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. So with me, so one of the guys was working in the office as well as out. So I met him, Bo. If I remember correctly, Bo West. I love that guy. Um, we were coming in, I think, at the same time to get our, you know, our photos and things like that. So he was there coming in the same time I was, and then we got booked for, like, a background work. We got booked together. So he's like, okay, we'll meet up, or we can drive out there together. And I think with Derek Alberti, mm -hmm. we met him, I think, on the actual set. Mm -hmm. I don't think I met him in the office. Might have, my bad if I didn't, but definitely we had to do this shoot up in the park in uh, New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that, Central Park, I think? I think it's actually where we was at. <laughs> we, uh, I think it might be uh, shot, like, uh, short film, right? Oh, so the memories yeah, so where we met, and um, you know, we were just cool since then. Got into mingle with the families, and funny thing is, like when we would, when we would show up on set, that's why I said you would have fit in. We look like the damn Power Rangers uh -huh. because me, okay. I'm black, right? You right. know, Angel, Angel Solez, hope he's all right wherever he's at. We definitely need to talk. Oh, you have um, he's per okay. yeah, I don't know, it's a whole other story, but oh, he's Peruvian. Oh, okay, whole other story. Well, He's Turkish and Derek, he's Canadian. So, oh, you don't have an Indian yet. You don't have an Indian yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he did you back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to meet these guys. We need to all get together. Too bad there's a right. pandemic. Uh, uh, so, I uh, know we gotta we'll figure something out though, right? Because nothing, nothing can stop Definitely. us, right? And we gotta always, it, it's like, oh, too bad there's a pandemic. Yeah, whatever, we're doing something right now, right? This is Absolutely. so fascinating. You're blowing my this is uh, this is so far. This is my favorite uh, human review that I've done so far because I'm learning so much about you, about this, nice. about Good. your background. I really appreciate it. Actually, it's really cool. Like, I'm really entertained. So, uh, so thank you. Awesome. For that. Yeah. So definitely. Thanks, thank Thomas. you. My laptop is burnt. Is setting my uh, lap on fire. So my so my wife brought me my uh, brought me a. a um, hey hey hey. Desk. What's up, man? <laughs> He's legend. Legend says oh, okay. Okay. She, she says hi. Um, so, uh, so, okay. So you were in the agency. You're meeting. You you have the you you have buddies. You're doing background work together, which is great with friends. Which I never really got to do background work with any friends really. Um, uh, you're doing prime time work. The stuff that's getting played played abroad. Prime time, which is amazing. And you said that you improvised your role for for the toxic adventure wow so how did that go yeah uh, yeah you so have footage of that? For the so for the toxic avenger right and this is going to be the weirdest thing 
Okay. I was actually playing a Nazi, believe oh. it or not. Oh so my God. It's what? Citizen Toxie, right. <laughs> Citizen Toxie, I think it's number three. This is the and best I'm playing ever. like one I'm of the soldiers like you can obviously see me yeah. because i'm the only black guy with a damn hitler mustache oh my gosh yeah it just looked ridiculous but it was it was funny though so you know yeah. i didn't do much it was just a cameo oh but i kept the contact with them so they were doing this show um what was it edge tv okay i believe it was okay. called sure and um trent hager he was the star shots out the trent um he was hosting it and you know you'd have different cameos it was kind of like their version of and live in color or oh, Mad TV, baby. Yeah. What? Oh, Mighty. great shows. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Lloyd Coffin hits yeah. me up, and he's like, "Yeah, we want you to um, we want you to play a drug dealer." Oh, great, great. <laughs> like, okay, right. This is how this all began because of I will course. play drug dealer many, many, many a times after this, right? Right, right. right. But um, right. I'm on set. We're gonna freestyle it, basically, right? And anybody who knows trauma. You know, um, they're very extreme. Okay. Okay. I so I was I a crack. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I think I know what you're talking. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Right. Yes. Yes. So yes. not the normal crack we saw in Newark. Yes, right. Yes. yes. So <laughs> oh looking at all this and it was going, I asked the director, I'm like, let me just ask you a question. I'm like, do you want me to act like a real drug dealer or do you want me to be over the top? And he's like, you've watched trauma before, right? It's trauma. I'm like, okay, say less. Wow. Wow. <laughs> say less. So, yeah, I play like the sleazy. Uh, yeah, but it gave me my first chance. It was my first speaking role. And, you know, hey, it was cool, man. I definitely role? thank them for it. Yeah. But you know what, right? Now, this is something you run into, too, right? Okay, yeah. So, even though I did that, it was on primetime, right? So, when you go, when you tell your friends, hey, I did this show, oh, was it on BET? Was it on NBC? When it was created later on in life, is it on stars? Yeah, so if we don't do anything that shows on any of these channels, no one then cares. it doesn't count no. with a lot of people. No. Right, it doesn't right. Count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> no it doesn't. They're like, what? Right. They're like, is it anything I've heard of? And I was like, and I would have to like, I've been to social events where, right. where oh my gosh, oh man, I haven't talked to acting in so long. Um, yeah. Most people don't. Let's, let's so, <laughs> Most people don't know, you know, because I, I meet a lot of people. I don't tell them. I'm like, you know, you know what? Forget it. I'm not telling you. Uh, that not everybody has to know know my business. You, because you, you, you know, when the first thing someone says to you when you say acting, they're like, oh, like, oh, what were you in, right? And so, like, what you in? You, you can't, so you, what you do is you just churn through things that you've been in until something sticks to them, and then, and Absolutely. you're like, you know what? This is like not. I don't need this for my ego, so I'm just not gonna say anything. I don't care. Absolutely. Right. I don't need Absolutely. To, to know, you know, Ugh. oh my God. Yeah. And, and, I, and I went through that. I went through that. And right. not even not too long ago. Well, it was just like, okay. And part of it is because like you said, if it's not on TV, it's not whatever, then people don't care. People the care. other part was the people that we were dealing with. And we can speak stories about this because you've been in it with me at the time. When we're dealing with these people and you make this movie and they put this information out, then the movie don't get released. You don't get your footage. You don't even get paid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then these people is looking. Like, there was one movie that people got souped about. Uh, Franklin Correa, he's a writer, actor. Okay. He does everything. An excellent, great filmmaker. Brother of mine, we've kind of been a little distant as of late. But it is what it is. I still got a lot of respect for him. And we did this movie, Flash Drive. I and when we Flash dropped Drive. the trailer. You remember that, right? Yeah, I remember right. Flash Drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This movie, so when we dropped the trail ad, people, oh, yo, that looks official. Yeah. Oh, when's it coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were getting super, whatever. And ironically, the movie didn't even drop till like three years later. Oh, my <laughs> so, God. And, right, so by that, and now, mind you, it was in FYI. I don't even know if that store exists anymore. Yeah, it was everywhere. Gone. Like, FYI Frank, is gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frankie yeah. even ran up on somebody that had it bootleg, right? Right. <laughs> right. right. And he's like, oh, you want to see this new movie? I got this new movie flash. He's like, yo, that's my movie. And the guy took off. Um, right. So after all that, like I said, the, the you know, the, the, obviously the buzz was off. Like we, we put this movie out, the trail around and now don't get me wrong. Like, you know, things happen, this, that, whatever, this is what dragging or whatever. So, you know, but that was the whole thing with that. That was on pay-per-view was on pay-per-view and everything. Right. So. That's why I say, bro, I just say, then people start looking at you again. Like, yeah, they think you're a great actor. They think they can see that you could do whatever. But then when you're messing around 
with a lot of these things that's out of control, they don't know what happens in the background. They All they know is, hey, this is going to be out. This is going to be out on this channel. This is going to be out in pay-per-view. This is going to be out in the movies. Right. Right. Are we frozen? I think we lost contact no, no, no. again. We lost you for, for a second, and then we got you packed up. It picked up while you said a pay-per-view. So I think that we got most of it there. Yeah, we, I, I got everything up until you said it, – it, it was everything that you said about um, – uh, you got to, re to, re you didn't, they did okay, so like, let's back up from pay-per-view, it seemed like, the wow, sentence this made thing sense is to really me. frozen, yeah, can it's you like, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine, so that, honestly, we could just, we, we could just, they're probably going to hang up, because this thing doesn't look like it's unfreezing anytime soon, oh, okay, so just call me back on Google, are we good? Crazy, that's right, I know, the technology, luckily, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Awesome. All right. So yeah, yeah it's just it's, <laughs> it's insane, you know, all the stuff we have to deal with to to be able to do a simple absolutely a simple call and all that stuff. But it's uh, luckily I could just go ahead and I'll be able to piece it back together. So let's start. Let's go back to flash drive real quick. I want to talk about oh, okay. it for a second. Oh, um, so you had uh, you this this movie was released um on paper eventually, but three years later. Yeah, Did like it basically that after level we started, of post production work to to be at that level, like wow, was there a lot of C was there CGI in the end or anything like that? Or? So it was a combination of the CGI, which was very little, wasn't really too much of that used. Uh, post production mostly was distribution because it got tangled up with these guys. And bro, you know this part too. I think actually you might have been the one that educated me on it. You know, where these this distribution guys, they go and they screw you over. They give you this contract. Mm -hmm. If you don't read it, you know, you don't pay attention. He's just, just looking, oh, yeah, my movie's about to be out or whatever. Yeah. And you sign it and then you're screwed. Like, I've seen not a dime from Flash Drive, you know. But I enjoyed the movie and I have that credit there. You know, I use that for, for real footage. So. Do you have the footage from the trauma uh, film? From the trauma uh, TV show? I, I have somewhere on YouTube. I will send it to you. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I would love to see, like. Well, like all the way, like like all through the years of of acting, you know, because you've been involved in the film. Wow. Where, you know, like you you got some real credits in, man. You've done some real, per like a lot. Like I gave it five five full time years, but I really started in twenty eleven, and then I stopped two years ago. So, like you know, it's like right. seven years, seven years. It's so funny during my full time years of acting. I did the le I did the least acting, actual acting of my of my life. When I was out in Virginia, when I was in Pennsylvania, I was getting paid gigs. I was getting in plays. I was nice. there unpaid stuff in plays. But uh, and but the short films paid. There wasn't a, there wasn't any other actors out there to to like compare. Like I was getting gigs and I was working full time, so I would just take off some days and be able to do it. It was smooth. It was chill. And I was like, hey, yeah, man. And, and then I came, I moved back to Jersey because on on somebody who, on somebody's advice, who who has since left, uh, who has left left film as uh, as well. But I'm not, really, uh, I haven't really left. Or I'm not really done with it. So because I'm no, still you're not, bro. You got not finished business. No, you're not done. You're not done. done when I'm done. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, we have business. It's not, it's unfinished we have unfinished. We do, we do, right? And I, I just, I've, I've just decided to take control of, of, um, of the, of, of my media, of, of my performance. Uh, but I'm never, you know, it's not over. And I, there's a whole, oh man, that's this. Oh, there's so much to say. Um, but <laughs> anyway, so distribution, it sucks. Uh, you know, that's why. That's another reason to be like, oh my gosh, should you just do, and. Like, how accessible, like, you know, it took three years to, and, and then, you're, sometimes you're just like, is anybody ever going to see this stuff? Like, I, what's, wait, I'm, why am I performing, right? Am I performing to an audience right now? That's, I, I don't mean to detract from what's, what, uh, from, uh, let's go, we'll go back to, to, through the No, that, 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 that ties in, because right. basically when I first got into acting, I was doing it through the agency, yes, right? Yes, So then I got out the agency. And I took it off, I think, to go into music. Also, my mother, fortunately, I was losing her at the time. So yeah. I just got out the active thing, period, got two jobs to take care of the bills at home. 
and tend to my mother. Even got out because I think I was wrestling at the time too. And you were uh, wrestling it or at not. the time. Uh, and you were wrestling at the time. Right. So I was training to be a pro wrestler. Uh, Jersey All Pro Wrestling. You know, God rest in peace, Fat Frank. Okay. Yeah, I was a big fan of of the of the promotion. Me and Icon James Grant. And we wind up going in actually training to be wrestlers. But like I said, that was at the same time I was doing the acting too. Mm -hmm. My mother, you know, fortunately cancer and lymphoma started getting the best of her. So I just kind of dropped out, just started working. And, you know, it was all about just living the common life yes. for many, many years. <laughs> the, I love it, the common life. The common life, bro. So That's I got into I mean. music. And I was music. music. I was in an r and group um, called Echo. Um, shout out to those brothers. What 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 year then is this? There, so I could so I could under like just understand the timeline here. This has to ooh, so. This is probably somewhere between two thousand and three and two thousand and five. I want to say okay. somewhere. Okay. In there. Okay. I was on active for a minute. Then I dropped. I want to say I'm trying to go based on when I started working certain places. Because I remember certain areas, depending on where I was working at, what was happening. Yeah. So um, we fast forward to probably 2010, 11. Sure. And that's when, uh, 2009, excuse me, 2009. That's when Connection Raw, which was a hip-hop group mm -hmm. that I was a part of. Um, me um, and others, yeah. So you had one that wrote the music and rap. I was the singer and rapper. And then we had a female um, who was the, uh, she could rap. And she was more of the entertainer. She was a little, little bit. Whatever. Actually, ex girlfriend of mine too. Oh, um, wow. It was another story. <laughs> How fun! <laughs> um, <laughs> isn't that isn't that great to work with, right? Oh man, does it? Well, it isn't busy because then when we broke yeah. up, it seemed like the group kind of yeah, went right, whatever, right, you know. Right. Now, right. So now this time I done built up this 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 whole thing, right? Everybody's paying attention and they want to see whatever. So I, I I will always admit I'm to me I'm not a solo artist when it comes to music. Like I can sing. Not the best singer in the world. Some of these people out now ain't either, but that's another story. <laughs> Never been the best rapper. Right. You know, and I come from a family. Shouts out to Law, Law Life, and uh, Smell the Loot Entertainment. Um, you know, my nephews, and that's who basically we grew up because I say my nephews, but we're all around the same age. Gotcha. So we're part of the same generation. And they were great rap rappers. You know, Habib Malik Sabi was just in the studio uh, about a night or two ago mm -hmm. recording his album that's about to come out. I never felt I was on their level. So I never wanted to try to put myself out there as a rapper because I wasn't on their level at all. Right. I still admit that to the day. Right. So the only thing I knew that I could do on my own to keep up this, you know, this buzz that we got is acting. So I went right. back into acting, this time without an agency. And I don't know if that was a gift or a mistake. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> One thing, though, yeah. the great thing about it is I met you, bro. Right. So I'm Franklin Korea, and we've been working together ever since. Um, we met actually 2012, right? Right. It was a 48 hour film challenge. Um, right. courtesy of Open Iris Entertainment. Shouts out to John Hedlund. Right. Um, right. So, yeah, he brought us together. And basically, for those who might be tuning in who don't know what a 48 hour film challenge is, so you have 48 hours to create a film, edit it, study it, send it in. Yeah, right. So the actors, the actors don't even know the script till we get there. <laughs> Right. The theme, and you're given a theme, you're happen. given a you're given prompts, and then you're like, go. Mm. And then nobody will And I love it. Yeah, it's fun. It's so much fun. It's so much fun, but it, here's my caveat here. All right. There's my here's my slight downer <laughs> on this. But uh, honestly, I say every time I about to say something downer, some for some reason around you especially, I'm able to like quickly flip it into a positive. So Awesome. No, yeah, Thank that's you. weird. That's something that's just you're just uh, you have some, you're just a special person, man. Uh, I appreciate that. I, you are um, too, man. I just... No one's going to watch it. Honestly, nobody wants to watch a short film, all right? Nobody watches short films, period. Nobody goes out and watches a short film. Nobody wants to see it. But it's so much fun, and it's great practice, and you learn a lot. But at the same time, you want to make, in my opinion, after doing all these things, you want to make things that get seen by people right? That people are trying right. to see, right? And there is a form of short film that people actually do watch. It's called YouTube, right? And people <laughs> right. on YouTube, they don't call their stuff short films, but they're making short films. They're, they may not have, they may not be narrative driven, right? But right. They're, they're doing it and uh, people are watching.
watching, right? When you upload your short film, like what I'll t- like short films, you know, I, what, if I made a wrote it and posted it online, people will say, please beg, please watch, please watch this. Can you want? Can you watch my short film? Can you watch the short film? It was so cool because the, with the Forty Eight Hour Film Festival, they put it up in the theater, and it's fun. That's it's so fun. It's like you get this whole like, it's you get, it's a compressed experience, right? It's really nice. But yeah, sorry. Do you need to situate yourself? Go go for it. Take it. Get comfortable. Oh no, not at all. Just yeah. and uh, make sure I plug in my phone so we can keep <laughs> please, it moving. Please, please, yeah, like, and, 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 came on, so I had to and don't hold worry, on. Let me make... And don't worry about getting getting the the video oh. right because. This is about the audio to begin with, anyway. I don't care about the video as much. Okay. Right. So we cool. Can, we What's that? You know. We could throw. We could throw. Uh, in like as uh, B-roll, like any of your old stuff, as B-roll and all that stuff on top of this stuff. So and awesome. I don't care. Like if awesome. you need to hold it in a right. Who cares? I can put a picture up. It doesn't matter. Right. Uh, what matters? Is <laughs> we got a podcast and we get it done. Um, yes, so. sir. Yes, sir. So now what you was talking about, yeah. right, with the with the 48-hour film challenge. Now, the reason why I love doing those yes. is because it challenges you. Like, how good are you of an actor? Yes, agreed. You know, you don't have all this time to study a script, this, that, whatever. And I love that. And that Me gets too. my juices flowing because I like being spontaneous. Me too. And we did a great job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, three, what was it? Three Minutes to Air was the name of the movie. Yes, that uh, was the awesome. Short film that we did. It was so well done. I love yeah, that. I still yeah. watch it to this day. Yeah, it was yeah. so cool. Yeah, it was... And all that was done within the course of a day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the whole thing about it. So it was excellent. You know, and funny enough, yeah, we were together again. How how many years ago? How many yeah. years later? Two years, two years. On the 48-hour yeah, film oh, challenge. No, 2018. <laughs> that's, a, that's what reunited. Right. Us, uh, yeah. So I have to right. thank it for that, you know? And it's a good time to meet people. And it's a good time to do this. I just think that there's a way to do it. That this is a conversation I want to have. There's a way to do it that makes it interesting for people to watch, like to make that time really worth it for us, right? And like to make it not viral per se, but just like internet consumable. There's a way to write it. There's a way to think about how you're gonna do it. There's a like because if we, if you just made that, let's just say this. Let, let's say if if our last our 48 hour film was martial arts, if that video was just Top ten martial arts styles, right? And it was just a, a series of little sketch jokes about us doing different martial arts to, uh, styles. That would have got get at least that we by today minimum a thousand views. If we had if we spent that forty eight hours editing it, we we came up with a funny script. We even had funny little dialogue written for it. You just have to format right. it for an audience that wants for, so it's accessible to people. And Absolutely. It, because Absolutely. It, right. It, and. But you're right, though. It's also a time you can meet people and learn about working with people. And if it wasn't for the for for like a, a purely narrative driven stuff, we wouldn't have even met. So uh, obviously, I have to give my love to that in, in, in a way. <laughs> but uh, but I think that if we ever go back to it, and I think one day we have to because we have to. Absolutely. Right, because it's our history, right? That's just like at least every ten years you got to go back to it and do it. Um, <laughs> we gonna we're I'm gonna do, we're gonna write it in a way that's gonna be accessible to people. We're gonna write it in a way where. It's what I call YouTube accessible. Like, it's it, where it won't feel like a, a short film, and it might br- anger people. It might be a little controversial. Like, oh, why are these guys doing like top ten, uh, like a top ten video uh, here? It's like it's like no, it's a short film. This is filmed. This is edited. There's dialogue. There's this. There's that. We plan. We block this. We we did everything that you did, but we actually just made it so that people actually want to see this. What do you think of that? Hey, controversy creates cash. Yeah. Those are words of Eric, <laughs> right? <laughs> who was a wrestling personality, and he came out What's with a name? book called that. And it's actually Eric Bischoff, um, yeah. big name in the wrestling community, okay. pro wrestling community. Um, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, it's all about getting people's attention. Right. Okay? You want it. Because some of us, yeah. us included, like, some of the most talented people in the world you have, and they're not being seen. They're because not. they're not being part of anything where you're dragging somebody's attention to. Yes. Like, I could put up something singing, but if I don't sing as well as this guy or that guy or whatever, no. nobody's going to pay attention to my video. Yeah. If I can't act as well as this one or that one or the production that we do yeah. sucks, then right. who is really going to be watching that, nope. passing that video around, nope. you know? Nope. So you're absolutely right. Um, and it's crazy because a lot of people who, who may not know, like you said, we came back into contact um, 2018 
um, to do a short film that we we decided together we're gonna put it on it. We're gonna show our talents, right? Yeah, it was supposed to be about us. <laughs> wow. I had to go from us to like me and you have a cameo just like your idea. So and once again, like, hey, to everybody involved, I'm sure they did a great job. I don't know how that happened because this was your thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> your thing and my thing. You had a, it behind it the was, scenes. It was our thing. From who you got a cameo and And I'm the executive producer. I put it together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And I think he was just trying to show respect because I guess they were they were more seasoned than us in a way, I guess. You know what I mean? So um They were something. You know. <laughs> I'm ready to throw down with them. I'll take them to the octagon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be the undercard. Right. Mike Tyson's fight, uh Jake Paul's fight is the undercard no, Jake Paul's undercard for the Mike Tyson fight. I'll have the undercard there. I, I hope you can join me. We'll do a we'll do our nah, for, for the Jake, first. Jake, Jake, Jake. Jake Paul can go on first, then we go. Yeah, <laughs> send his <laughs> ass out there. So, go on. Yeah, go on. He's one of those that's more famous than us. I shouldn't talk, right? Because he puts his camera on, acts like a jackass. And once again, people like people but seeing people it. act like a jackass. But that's it, though. Right. That's it. See, right. this, is, this is it. Like, I think that actors, actors, comedians, performers, we get locked into ideas of what performing means. Right. And this is five years. You know, I went full time. I dedicated everything. I did a job where I, you know, I did. Right. I was a substitute teacher. I could I worked at night and then I would just do everything just to get auditions. And then I didn't even get to do any work. If I spent all that time make it, getting good at making content that people wanted to see and just trying to practice that rather than just trying to get the corporate the corporate world. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know if he'd be really great as the as a, a commercial in this, a, a commercial actor in this. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's think about it after three more rounds of, of auditions. I let them decide my life. I let other people do that. And that's the hard part about being a working performer is that you could make that decision. And I think that if we just capture what's – see, there's mediums that, are, that exist right now that didn't exist before. The same thing happened. Movies didn't exist, and then they existed, and people were like, "Oh, what is this weird thing? We have plays. We get under. We understand plays. We understand novels. Like, what is this? What is movies? Right?" And so they they translated that to that, and pe I'm sure people were hard hard pressed to convert to move to to one medium to the other. Now we move from movies and TV, film and TV, into internet, television, new media, and new media is a little different. Everywhere, right? Right, okay. everywhere. What what do you got? You got Netflix. You got Hulu. Mm -hmm. you, you got the. Re I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. There's some religious, I think. Yes, there, um, are. there is. Right, there's everything. Right. So there's so many platforms right now so for somebody many. to go and do their thing. Right. right. So. But it's those are platforms out. that still all you got to do is. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. What's about to say? I uh, said so there was gate. There's gate, there, those platforms have gatekeepers, right? They still have gatekeepers. Right. right? There's platforms Absolutely. that have no gatekeepers. None. Podcasting. YouTube. Twitch. Streaming. IG Live. Those, I, those are just a couple. Those are just a couple. There's more. There's more than that. But that's they're the people's medium. And guess what? People are watching those mediums. I watch those mediums. I'm on YouTube. I'm on mm -hmm. podcasts. I'm listening to that stuff. You too. Uh, you know, it, <laughs> what, right? We, we watch, I watch YouTube all the time. Are you kidding me? Watching this, I'm right. watching this podcast. I'm watching this guy talking to this guy. I'm watching this video, watching that video. And by, by the time right. I haven't watched any TV. I was like, oh, wait, I, wait. I spent all my time <laughs> watching a bunch of videos that a bunch of people made. People, nobody put the gate up. And I just think that's so interesting. But. Mm -hmm. Bro, I don't even watch TV too much too. anymore. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't even it's all it YouTube and all. Yeah, I'd be right. on the go too, so I don't have time to sit down and watch the TV. You know right. what I mean? I'd be on the go. So yes. It's mostly all YouTube and everything. So shouts out to YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> I'm a. I, I, you right. know, yeah, I, res I have a lot of respect for what YouTube does because YouTube has allowed me to make videos and put videos up for years, and Absolutely. nobody told us to not. You know, and uh, it's just I, I, I have so much. It's so funny. What do you? Um, before we, uh, I want to go back to this, but this is actually, I'm going to tie it in. What do you watch on YouTube? <clears throat> Everything. You know what? You know one of the craziest things I watch. Me, um, and there's people that. like you sit and watch this body cam. So you know the police have the body worn yeah, cameras. Cam, body cam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Because, you know, with all the situations that's going on out here right now, yes. I, I just be, you know, I'd be interested in learning how they move, how people out here move. So I know how I move because mm. I move around all the time. So right. Right. Um, that is one of them. Then other than that, I watch a lot of wrestling. I watch a lot of podcasts, yeah. including your own. I don't know why this guy here was so surprised that I saw his, that I watched his channel. Like, why would I not? <laughs> Of course I do. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Shots out to yourself, sir. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. One year. Right? Yeah, definitely. Straight working on that. Yeah. Uh, it's like what you were saying about short films, right? So you remember that um, Mortal Kombat years ago yeah, came out with like a short Mortal Kombat film. It had Michael Jai White, who yes! somebody I try to model myself back. He's my favorite actor because he can do it all. Oh, he can, spawn, <laughs> he can do action. Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. Right. Yeah. Spawn, right. He can act. He I mean, he can do too. drama. He can do action. He's a legit martial artist. Legit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's awesome. multi-black belt martial yeah. artist. Exactly. Podcast, but he could do it. Yeah. It's really, it really interesting. Right. He came out with that Mortal Kombat, like, seven-minute film. And that wound up launching him, getting a little series going through Warner Brothers. Yeah. So YouTube is a great, you know, and social media in general. It's a great, great platform. So, so like you were saying about the... Yeah, yeah go, go ahead. Go, no, no, go ahead. So you were saying, go ahead, finish it. I'll, I have a thought. No, about that. About that. About short film, long film, whatever. Yeah. It's just really the content that you're putting out, you just got to grab the people's attention. You so do. short films can do that. It they just do. depends on... But it's got to be... There's three, there's three parts. You're right. It's the writing, right? That's first of all. The story got to make sense, right? Then you get the actors in the shooting. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure the actors is on point. You got to make sure that the camera work is on point, the directing is on point. Yeah. And then the last part is the editing part. So you could do both of those things extremely well, and the editor just Fs it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and as you look at it's it, okay, how did this go wrong? I don't know how many times. I've it's the editor's medium. It's the editor's medium. Someone said that to me once. I... Uh, a guy who, uh, one of the few people I knew who, did, who, uh, you know, talked to me while I, while I was acting, um, and then he said, he said, you know, film and TV and all that stuff, anything recorded is that's, that's the director, that's the editor's medium, that's not your medium. The play, the play, that's the actor's medium. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. You're right. It, Cause really, I don't. They, oh. they don't have any control. I don't really have any control. Yeah, I don't have any control over it. Right. They do. They do. So, right. So now with stage, because that's what I've been doing lately. Oh, and I love stage, right. man. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. I, 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 don't, I don't even know how to feel about stage. I'll tell you why, right? Because first and foremost, I always call myself, I'm the film guy. So I, I call myself that with the cast that I'm with that's now. Yeah. Um, because they're all, you know, they've done stage and this, and I've had the worst experiences when it comes to stage oh, I've only had, all right i've had most of the like, good ones yeah well i'm glad you yeah. have good outside and I'm, of I'm jersey that's why outside of new jersey that's absolutely why. there you go <laughs> here you go right yeah. mine's is all in jersey oh, i got screwed I've had out only bad experiences here yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we're, we're gonna make them good man we're you know what i mean good. um I am, right i'm working with um hollywood that's h-o-l-o-i-w-a-r-d hollywood productions mm -hmm. Um, for a Christian play called Love Under Contract. Okay. okay. Um, in there, I play the main character's boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, we got a lot of drama going on with us, and she got a lot of drama going on, period. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So the thing with acting out, this is similar like the 48-hour challenge. Yeah. There's no net. No. So with that, you know, with the 40-hour challenge, you don't get a script. You don't get the study. With stage, you get the study, but once you go on an act, there is no cut right. no edit no, cut, no, no let's cut. go back it's, it's gone it's in, and man. it's like the most mind-wracking thing for me yeah um you also know you probably know me i like to improvise a lot yeah. and with uh stage, a lot of the time they don't want you to improvise so they've been cool about it but i remember the last production i was in um it was called miss betty's glamorama okay <laughs> so originally i went in um my friend shouts out to Raphael mateo Raph mateo um, I was getting him into acting, and it's a shame because he got experience to what we've gone through so much trying to break an act, and he and he was getting comedy too, and I don't think he does any of it anymore, and it's a shame because he's got the charisma. He's the one that taught me how to be funny, so we, okay. we're, we're like childhood friends. Okay. So, yeah, we go back to, like, kids, wow. um, and, and it's a shame, it. like, from fifth grade, and, yeah, he just dropped out of it. We got screwed over so much, especially with this production. Of course um, you And do. this production. People will do that to you. Right. 
So right. with the first production that I was part of, mm-hmm. um, people was dropping out, this, that, whatever. So we did all this studying, and um, the show never even wound up happening. This happened like twice with this particular person I was working with. So with this one here that Raph introduced me to, he's like, oh, you know, come out, do whatever. I went, I got, I auditioned for a small part, and I got it, and I was fine with it. One of the more major parts was of an Asian guy. Um, <laughs> it was an Asian guy, you know, because it was in a in a in a beauty shop. So of course, stereotypic, stereotypically, okay. you know, the Asian person was in there doing the nails and oh, the feeding wow. and whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So I think why the guy, the one guy that came there and auditioned, he got the part. He never came back. Maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. Yeah, maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. I got so nervous because they they tried to fit a few people in there. Most of the times when we were rehearsing, I would just fill in. You know, I would I would speak the role of you know the Asian person. His name was Yin Yang, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to do all this damn rehearsing, and then the show doesn't go on. I've already been through this before. So I called the director up, but I'm like, look, I have an idea. I'm like, um, for this Yin Yang character. I'm like, how about I play it? We change it. Instead of him being Asian, he's black and Asian. Mm-hmm. And we call him Yin Yang Leroy. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm like, you know, and he's just somebody that just like Leroy from uh, Last Dragon. You know how he watched the Bruce Lee movies. So he kind of like talked differently. Right. He dressed differently. Gotcha. I went out and got like the Chinese cut suit and everything. Cool. And I studied Bruce Lee tapes. Because Bruce Lee is like one of my, my all time favorites and not my favorite. Not only, absolutely, not only for his action, but also love his philosophy. And um, he was a great philosopher. So I watched a lot of his interviews and a lot of the shows where he was just talking and I kind of mimicked his voice, uh, his accent, because I didn't want to come on being like, I didn't want it to be insulting or racist. Yes. Oh coming on, because I suppose, you know what I mean? You're talking, you're Bro. speaking my language. I, I, I agree with everything you're saying, every level, because you're taking the acting to this level, right? You're taking it to here. You know what I mean? This is, that's what it's right. about. Right. Right? It's not about like, oh, I'm just going to play the stereotype. Oh, you know, it's like, no. This no. is, this is like, it's, it, there's so many levels to how you built up the character. It makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. Bro, when I was going on, when it was showtime, I would peek out in the crowd to see if there was any Asian people in the crowd. Because mm-hmm. I'd get so nervous, like, I hope they're not going to take my character, like, the wrong way. Right. You know what I mean? Want. Like, I'm trying to be as respectful as possible. Right. And no, it came out fine. Like, a lot of the kids love my character. Um, so, and it came out fine. Now, of course, we got slifed on the pay. Never got paid for it. Never got footage from it. And I would love to get footage because, yeah, this is, like, one of the times I went deep into acting because... I'm playing a whole, uh, trying to play a whole different nationality right, and accent and everything. Right. And something that I was accused to do. Uh, the director, she yelled at me. She cursed me out one time. So I was just out. At, at that point, I was out of stage. Absolutely. Right, bro. Oh, this, she cursed me out the first night I went there to rehearse mm-hmm. as the Yin Yang Leroy character. And she cursed me out in front of the whole cast, like... And I'm looking like, damn, I don't work jobs, and the people that sign my paycheck ain't even cursed at me like that. Right, 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 so, right, right. When we did the first set of shows in Broadway, I was just done. We're at the, you know, the after party, the casting party, whatever. I'm like, hey, I enjoy doing whatever. And they're like, why are you leaving? What do you mean? I'm like, look, me and that woman didn't get along. She don't want me around, so I done did the shows. Right. Good luck finding the next, yeah, good luck filling the role. Right. And she came to me like, look, you know, you did an excellent job. Nobody can do that role but you. So I'm like, okay. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. And I was on for the shows. And one thing we'll give it credit for is I got to perform in a place where, if you're from New Jersey, you know of Symphony Hall, right? Maybe not now, because I don't even know if they have shows in and out of there now. But if you grew up as a kid in Newark, like Symphony Hall to us was our Apollo Theater, is the Harlem. Mm-hmm. So I never performed there. I performed at NJ Pack in high school. Wow. <laughs> I didn't perform this place and that place. Never performed at Symphony Hall, doing anything, singing, acting, rapping, nothing. So this did give me the opportunity, and I went out there, Symphony Hall, great cast, great crew, did the thing. A lot of people turned out, um, and I thank them for their support. To... And the freezing begins. Shot my hand and kind of sold them for me. So it was great. So, you know, this this time around, we were supposed to get paid for it. 
which we wasn't even expecting. Me and Raph is like, okay, it's probably going to be like 50 bucks. That'll be our drinking money for the night, like, because when they go out, we're going to get drunk any damn way. Right. And uh, at the end of the night, oh, you know, we didn't make as much as thought, this, that, whatever, blah, blah. We didn't get paid. We didn't get paid. Of course. Didn't get footage. Of course. So I was, I was done with the theater, bro. I was done. No, because um, the use of it. Because at least with other stuff, you get footage, right? And footage can get you roles, right? And, and you know, and, and it feels good to have footage, too. It's like, hey, come on. I, I, I worked hard on this. I want to, uh, this is my, le- my way of, like, you know, my legacy. You know? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. So we we fast forward to last year mm-hmm. um, on YouTube. You can find this. It's called Last Name Taylor, which was a very short web series. It was actually supposed to be longer, but due to one of the actresses in it dropping out, doing whatever, like things kind of, and the pandemic happening, it had to be cut short. But um, in the show, I play the father of the main character. Mm-hmm. Um, my girlfriend, whose name is Monica, real name uh, Melissa. Myers, shouts out to her, excellent actress, wow. has taught me a lot. So she was a part of this production coming up. So she texts me and she's like at the beginning of the year, I'm like, hey, have you ever done theater acting? Da, 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 da. I'm like, look, I've had way bad experience with it. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know, I'm not too crazy about it. It's nothing I want to return to. Right. She's like, oh, no, well, I think you'd really be good. I've worked with these people before. Uh, it was just Shaka Hollinger and Ursula Edwards, shouts out to them. Excellent ladies, so they're um, and she was just like, yeah, yeah, they're part of Hollywood Productions. Hold on one second. Oh, okay, that's fireworks. I thought somebody was knocking it. They're still doing fireworks? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, know right? I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Like, really? Okay, whatever. Hey, enjoy your summer. Do what you do. <laughs> yeah, and she's just like, paid for it. She's like, they're, they're very honest. They're they care about it. the actors being wow. I haven't even performed a show yet. So when the pandemic first dropped out, obviously that pushed us because we was going to tour. Um, it's, this is for the show Love Under Contract. Mm-hmm. So we were we're touring. We're going we was going to start here in New Jersey, mm-hmm. then we was going to hit Florida, Georgia, I think Philly, and I think I'm thinking North Carolina. Hell yeah! And then come back here. Oh, that's so great, right, bro. So I whole year scheduled out, yeah. like planned out. And then the pandemic happened. So. Hurricanes, pandemics. Exactly. So, and one thing I will give them credit for, um, they said they knew that we was going through things right now, whatever, even though, you know. And so they gave us like a little advance. Ah. They they sent us the money. In a, right, right. When does that happen with us, right? Yo, and they're all about the time. people forever, man. Hey, hey, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. First of all, like, you know, first of all, it's women doing this, um, you know, wow. doing this whole uh, well, they production. Are. Uh, black women out like that, beautiful black women, very positive, That's very, awesome. you know, they, they've they taught us a lot, you know, they're very easygoing. So, yeah, I'm going to ride with them till they tell me, uh, you know, till they fire me. I, that's why I try to be on my P's and Q's because I don't want to get fired. <laughs> so, right. Right. Yeah. so, but yeah, um, so we got it. We're going to have our show coming out in September. It's going to be live streamed. Um, I'll have more information on that to come because, like I said, with the pandemic, keep pushing things out. We've had to reschedule a couple of times. Okay. So that's why I don't want to put that info out yet. Yeah. Thank you, brother, for the platform to, yeah. you know, commercialize about. Once again, it's Love Under Contract, right. Holly right. Ward Productions. Yes, sir. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. So um, I want to know one thing uh, that's very important yes. to me. This is very important to me. I am not a, a big uh, social media person, uh, just because I get overwhelmed by things very easily, and honestly, distracted pretty easily. So, um, um, it, it, so sometimes I may like fall off on things. What is the number one best platform for me? YouTube is the number one place to find me, uh, no matter what. I mean, I, uh, I'll always. YouTube will always be kind of that place to go ahead and, Absolutely. and get in contact with me. And, like, like when it comes to my what I'm going to do next, or it's always going to be pretty much YouTube. So uh, what is the best place to, for people to follow you uh, in general, to be able to follow what's coming uh, coming out, what you're doing, what you're up to? What, it, what, should, what should we be keeping our, our eye on? 
Excellent. So YouTube is always going to be my favorite. So I'm right along with you, bro. Um, you could Google me, Legend Damien. Damien is spelled D-A-M-I-A-N Simmons. Mm -hmm. So Legend Damien Simmons, all one word. I'm on uh, Instagram, Legend Damien Simmons, all, all together. Mm -hmm. um, you can find me on Facebook as well. Like I said, you can Google me as well. And a oh, bunch okay. of stuff will pop up, good and bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's always it's always good to have that one spot that I did. So I what I did. Okay, so I I gave you a little shot. I, I made a video, uh, and it's it's I put I put another I put another twenty in maybe another twenty maybe another twenty probably another twenty hours into that one too. Uh, <laughs> maybe more. Uh, it's out. Uh, and I. There's a little shout out in for you in there, and I'm really embarrassed because I might awesome. have misspelled Damien, and I really hope not because I was looking at your Facebook page, <laughs> I was looking at your Instagram as I was writing it, so I was like, oh, no, no, no. did I put an O instead of an A? <laughs> but it's, uh, I put, I, I'm, I'm gonna put. Oh, the links you know, the... damn, you're absolutely right. D A M I O N. See, yeah. Yeah. I apologize, people. Oh, I got it right. See, this is why. I got it right. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> See? This is why you should mix busy. Absolutely, D A M I O. You are absolutely it. right. I got it. Oh my God. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm getting confused, right? Because um, I have I'm part of a podcast with three other gentlemen yes, called Extreme True Podcast. You can catch it on Zoom Mondays at 8 p.m. Um, and he spells his D A M I A N. So I've been trying to make the that keeps it's sticking in my head. Like I don't spell my own damn name right. So. Between that and that Crown Royale, Apple, <laughs> yeah. So my, let me say, D A M I O N, so what, Legend Damian Simmons. So what you'll have, what would be really helpful to me is if you could send me, um, a link to your podcast, the pod Extreme Truth, um, and a link absolutely, to, um, and I'll link your uh your uh. So you, I don't I don't know if I have your YouTube. Uh, uh, I'm subscribed to YouTube. Have you put anything out on YouTube recently that I've just missed, like an idiot? No, not, no, not in a while. Okay. So okay. I need to update because you know I'm just getting back into the whole acting swing of things or whatever. Okay. So I'm actually might even create a whole new page. Okay, you not can, sure. Keep me updated, please. Please just let's stay in will. touch. Can we please just stay in touch, like from now Absolutely. on? Absolutely, bro. No stay more. in touch. No We're more. going to be a part of productions going forward. So okay. yeah, okay. I got plans for you, bro. Oh, you know, my you're God, not. You do? Oh, you okay. have unfinished business in this business, bro, and we're going to do it together. You know, but like I said, you know, there's plenty of talent out there that doesn't get found, mm -hmm. and they run into the BS that we've ran into, first and foremost, to anybody that's an aspiring actor. Do your studying. Study on how this business works so you don't get screwed. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to go through management, that's fine. Just make sure that it benefits you as much as it benefits the, the management mm -hmm. and get it in. You know, just be ready because when you not have that one chance, that one chance, Somebody run up to you, okay, well, let me see what you got. It's now or never, so make sure you're ready for that. Okay. Absolutely, bro. We, You have unfinished business, my oh, man. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Congratulations on your new addition coming soon. Oh, sure. Thank you. You go ahead and get the all settled in and everything, and then we're back on the beat, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not quitting. I, it, it's, I thought, see, what I left, I left acting two years ago, left. Perform. I left performing, right? I just could. I just make it very general. I call it. Let's call it performing comedy, right? Comedy acting. One thing. I just put it all together. I left it, and I thought <laughs> I was gonna be like. Uh, I, I went to comic book school for a little bit, and I, I literally tried wow. to learn how to draw. I was a teacher during the day, and I was trying to learn to draw. I and, remember. And I was like, "Wow, this is." And that's what I told when I was turning in my equipment uh, with uh, with Gus and out in Hoboken. I was like. Uh, putting away the equipment I was giving them the equipment and I was looking at it, I was like I think I'm gonna just go into this because I don't have to worry I, I could just express myself in this form and I just tried to force myself into this hole of like this and it's like John like you're just you're a perform. that's who you are right that's you perform absolutely right and it's just built in and it only I, I did a year of this streaming project it was a lot of work everything went into it I put everything into those Fridays Anytime I was not at work, I was thinking about working on it. I was build. I was having the equipment ready uh, for the live stream. I was getting, you know, because capturing your games, capturing cameras, doing all this. I have all this equipment from all that, you know, and uh, you know, I, these microphones, all this stuff. I, I wanted to be a professional, like pot, like stream, right? 
And I did that, and I was like, what am I doing? Like, I, I, I thought that was my thing. I thought I was just going to, like, play video games and stuff for, for people. And I'm like, you know what? Like, we, we love – the reason we got into all this is because we love certain things. We love watching action movies, and we love Arnold, and we love – Bruce Lee. Absolutely. We love these And people. Bruce Lee. Oh my God. Sly. And Jackie Chan. And, you know, and Jackie, like, Chan. Jackie Chan might be my, yeah. like, I, I don't know, like, Jackie Chan, Arnold, like, I don't know, these guys are, like, everything, you know, that I look up to. Right. Like, growing up, I would just watch, I remember going through all of Jackie Chan's movies when I was a kid, and I was just, like, I would, I got a Netflix DVD subscription, and I was just getting the, and I was just getting every, Drunken Master. Oh, Drunken Master, uh, the, the legend oh. of the Drunken Master. And I just, you know, I always loved to action you know and what am i doing i love performance i love watching stuff i love the batman films i loved you know i was just like this is what wait i like perform i love these i like i want to watch these things and then I, I think about now i'm like i don't really want to watch um like when i was doing it i wasn't doing it for i i, I was like when you do a stream like, uh, I don't know if you guys run into this with the podcast, but because people can just tune in, they can just type in the chat, right? And it's extremely distracting to your performance, right? And it's really, it started to get me, like, angry. Like, I was like, what am I doing? Mm. I, every 10 seconds, I'd have to respond. And they make you, like, kind of perform for them. It was really gross. Like, it was like, it was like oh, you please do this. Like, do this for me. Like, move, like, do do this, say this, can you play this game now? Do this, say this now. And it's like, I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do a show. Like, imagine if everybody <laughs> in, in your, while watching your play can set, can heckle you during it, can heckle. Like, eh. Bro, yeah. that, that, that comes with the business. Yeah, exactly. Right. But you're doing these live streams, I think. I've never done Twitch. I don't know. You would be so good at it. I think Twitch it. is one of the games. Yeah, you'd be so good at it. You'd be so good. Okay. You'd, you'd what? Kill it. So, yeah. so I haven't had like a video games. This is how much I've been on the move. I've not had a video game system in probably over four or five years, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to get a PS3, PS4, whatever, but everybody saw me wait, wait. The PS5 is about to come out. Yeah. So we might as well not even get. So I'm kind of suffering because now I kind of I've been having a little extra time. Yeah. And I've been wanting to play, but I'm trying to wait for this fucking system to come out, which is probably going to cost like a thousand dollars. So We're not going to be able to afford it. So. <laughs> You know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a. You might as well get just get a computer, and then with a computer you could do everything. Then you could edit your re, you know, with a like you know get fo put that money on the computer. I, for I need your help because I know you got editing software things like that, brother. Yeah. So yeah, because I am my laptop. So yeah. I just bought. We'll new talk guy. about that. Yeah, that my yeah oh, yeah yeah. So. This is the new guy. It's the best computer I've ever had in my life. It's turned me into an like I feel. I learned so much. Mm -hmm. I'm a little editing, like I'm, I'm pretty fast at it. I, I could edit an entire, one of my, one of my videos, at least edit out, like cut, do all my cuts and, and clean outs. I could do it entirely with the keyboard. No mouse. I'm not even using that. Wow. Damn, bro. You want, you want your, you want your Jackie Chan. Yeah, you that's, right. Your, that's right. That's right. You want your master. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I love major. editing. That's yeah. the fun thing too, bro. And then, and then, with anything that you do, and we talked about this earlier. Yes. Like, no matter how great of a performance you have, like in yes. front of the camera, and the camera's on point, that editing is, that's what's going to make or break it. That it's everything. You know, when I do these YouTube videos, right? Like, um, these past two that I've done, I I do I'm performing it, and sometimes, and the last one, oh man, my performance was like. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I, I went, I, I experimented a little bit and there's a lot of, uh, 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 when I'm talking, cause I thought it'd be funny. Yeah. And... But, but that's, yeah, but you got to experiment. So I that's fine. To. I have I've to. experimented with podcasts. So I do right? extreme truth podcast with X, no E at the beginning. I, I can remember how to spell that one. So yeah, it's the, the first like? letter extreme podcast. Right. And so I've done that. I've done the show. We've done three shows so far. And I've done them each time in a different way just to see, yeah, see? what fits. Right? Exactly. So that it's like rehearsals. Bro. So there's nothing. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. You're refining. Like you <laughs> right. You got to see what the what the the crowd out there bites on. Right. This goes back to what you were talking about earlier. 
So, you know, there's different crowds for different things. You never know. So you got to put things out there and see what attracts people. You have to. Like one of our episodes by accident, we talked about sports more than we normally do. And these were women hitting us up like, oh, yeah, I'm glad you was talking about sports. You know, I love sports. You know, I love sports. And it's like, oh, okay. Wow. And that's really not something we talk about. But that, for some reason, that night, we were on it. And you had the women chiming in and this, that, whatever. So, like I said, you know, you think, oh, the guys will be hitting up and this, that, whatever. No. no so you never know. They're, they're funny? out there changes constantly, right? Right. Right. That's so interesting that you talked about sports and it, and it worked out that – because, like, it's not even something I would think to, because I don't know anything about, about sports at all or anything. Well, okay. Yeah. I, I'm right behind you. I'm uh, not okay. really a sports guy. So, yeah. yeah, I'm not. And I admit that. Like, yeah. you know, it's funny. Some of my closest friends, including you, yeah. they're really not, you know. Yeah, so I want we're, already, to we're already people, you know. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. I guess that might be the reason. <laughs> yeah. It's like we can play a game. We can play a game. You can watch a movie. You can listen to some music. You could do any of these like things where you consume art, right? But like you could, but, right. like, when it comes to like sports, it's like, uh, like I could watch, like uh, like the closest I could get is, I'm not like an extreme fighting fan, but like I could, that's the closest I get is I could watch a fight. That's it. That's a uh, that, that, right. Yeah, because I, you know, but still, I want to be watching a, a performative fight probably more than I want Absol- to watch it. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So you know, but yeah. so. Oh, man, where were we? So, okay, so I, you know, I left, I came back, and now I'm back in it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm performing again. I'm at it. I'm at it. But what happens is, is when in editing, so I, I can do the script, I'll do it, and I keep saying to myself while I'm working on it that I have to, in, in editing, I'm gonna make this sing. I keep saying, make it sing in editing. Like I, I had a video that hit a th- that hit a thousand views about a year nice. ago. Nice. Right? And I and then I nice. stopped I stopped doing edit I stopped editing videos, right? Because I was doing Twitch. It, it completely threw me off. Like, ooh, it's a live stream, guys. Is everybody who care? Right? And <laughs> uh, you know, I don't have to do any work. Woo! Um and then and then and then I, uh, it, it was nice cuz I, I did it about I, I did it about this uh, this role playing game and the creator, I tweeted it to the creator and he and he retweeted it. And I was like, whoa, that's really cool. And then I put some work into it. And um, in that video, I, I, I improvised all of it. And if I just, if I didn't do any editing, and I did a crazy amount of editing in that, I edited out all my uhs, <laughs> all my, all my, all the, all, that's what they do on YouTube. There's no breaks when people talk. No, they do. Yeah. I've, I've been there a lot with my cousin, the icon, James Grant. Um, he does like videos just like me. Oh. I do my raw talk on facebook and i post some of them on youtube but he does it and i'll I'll be there live as he's recording it and then when you see the video on youtube i gotta see it i gotta see that is he the uh, the other person that puts youtube that you were talking about just earlier because you mentioned someone else other than me that does youtube as well i want to i gotta show me that yeah it's probably yeah yeah. show me the stuff yeah yeah, 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 for sure what was the name no i just i'm I'm trying icon james grant icon james grant okay Right. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get back into the whole editing thing. Um, I used to be part of this website called HelloGhetto.com, right? Okay, okay. Tell me about it. Right. And, bro, like, you know, shouts out to the creators of it, which was Mike Mass and uh, Gorilla P, Joshua Frank. Okay. They created this thing, and they hit me up about it. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, we, we're making this website, this, that, whatever. It was basically on urban anthropology. Oh, okay. So for those who don't know what that means that just means there yeah, we're in the hood so all the content basically had to do with what's going on in the urban area so oh i interviewed crack interviewed prostitutes i interviewed oh. uh, we did, did comedy shows it should be something that should be a big thing now yeah um, this that would be huge. fortunately right but hopefully that'll be done again in the future that is content. you know what i mean that is content it'll be my brother so i will and with the with that website the reason why i brought it up is i was doing all the editing for most of the shows you were i will call out a work and everything yeah this is way back I didn't but yeah i would that. love wow. to do that wow. right bro i love to edit okay, because i know the yeah. what's that so we got to get together i said yeah. because i just love the vision like i said you can have any actors or the directors everything can look great the camera work can be great yeah but once it hits that cutting room floor if yeah. that person that's on the cutting room floor doesn't cut it right, that's it. It 
messes up everything. But they can right. make it. They can make it whatever. They can make a a terrible performance if they're good editors and they put a lot of work into it. They can make Absolutely. anything. They can make anything work. You know, and that's the crazy part about editing. So, so um, if, when it comes to a computer, if you if you want, don't buy a system. Don't do it, dude. It's not worth it. You could do all your. If you end up streaming, you could stream everything just from your computer. So. Don't I wow. don't waste your money, dude. We I'll show you all the software that I use. I'll show you the software that I use to record stuff off. I'll show you the software that I use to to edit. I'll show you the computer if you, awesome. where to get your computer. I bought my computer used, um, and uh, for Micro Center, it was, and it was it's great. And uh, so what all that stuff? I, just keep. Me, first of all, we just gotta talk I, more. Yeah. Why don't we I, talk I, more? I, Why don't we talk I more? I don't Who's know. Fault is that? We live. I'm we gonna live. Play, I'm gonna blame like, me. Other. Right? right? No, I'm not blaming each other. No, we'll blame each other, bro. Okay. Because it's just been like, man, look at that, bro. You 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 got your firstborn coming soon. Mm. So it's just <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And I've been doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm that's why I'm in a better situation. Mm. Uh, a lot of this year has been effed up for a lot of people. To me, yes. this has been my best year ever because I've been trying to make the best out of a bad situation yes, that a lot of us have gone through, bro. And yeah, and I've made the best of it. It's the best is yet to come. That's kind so of so that's what I'm saying. Year. It might be my mistake right. too, yeah, in a lot of ways, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, it might be. Well, we just talked about it with your little one. Congratulations yeah. oh, once again. So oh, happy okay. for you, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a, that'll change things. But, but like you said, unfinished business. It's not over. It's not over until it's over. Absolutely. You know, and... Yeah, uh, trust me. You know, and... We got, we got unfinished business in the business, the big brother. We got it. It's... When it comes to... It, co- the struggle I had with with COVID, right, and uh, and and you could tell me this as a as a as a working actor is, you know, I mm-hmm. I can't. So a couple months ago, COVID started, and that that remember I haven't really performed. I did my sh- I did my show my every Friday night, and I was doing my stream. I put my life into it, and it was not it was not working for me, but it was getting me to perform. And it, it taught me a lot about myself. So so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to – you know what? I'm not acting anymore, but I want to do a little stand-up. I want to stand – I want to do stand-up. It seems like a pure art form where a person gets up on stage and just performs. And, and so I tried to go to these things. And, like, during COVID, these COVID stand-up things – they don't. They're not really stand up. It's, it's like people are far apart. It's like you can't talk to people. People were trying to be friends with me, and I, I was like kind of being distant. And it was stuck in my head. I was like, this is the. See, this is the problem. This is what happens to me that messes me up. This is the way it's supposed to be. I have to act this way. I have to perform this way. Uh, and so for for the first couple of months of COVID, I was just like, oh man, how do I get into stand up? How do I do this? How do I do stand up? And I was like, no. No, dude, you have the an same, advantage. The same baton. No, it's not the time. Yeah, go ahead. So my wife told right. me, buy yourself a computer. John, you're great with computers. Just get yourself a computer. And I said, oh, oh you're right. And it was hard for me to do it. And I, I was like, I was like, are you sure? She's like, just do it. Just do it. And I was like, oh, okay. And I bought it. And I, it sat there. You know what I mean? I just used it for the stream. It's not very demanding. I didn't edit or anything. I kept trying to get my gigs and stuff. Like I tried to get like to go to gay, to uh, do stand up. I was like, what am I? What am I doing? I have this computer. I can edit. And here, so you want to know what made me start getting getting into making the YouTube videos and seeing, and finally being able to see a future for myself performing, is, I did these human reviews. I did talks with people, and I, 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 I was like, nice. I was like, I was like, wait a minute. All these people are talking about stuff. I want to talk about my stuff. I don't want to listen to these people's stuff. Absolutely. And this is absolutely. The, this is the first uh, first time I, I'll admit, like, n- no knock on anybody else. They talked about really interesting stuff, but this is the f- most fun I've had on one. Like, I'm having fun talking to you about this and learning about you. <laughs> I wish I could uh, shut up more so I could, because every time you're talking and telling me about stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this, this life is fascinating. Um, and there's so many parallels between the both of us, between the music and the performing, it's like, and the mm-hmm. editing, it's like, we're all, it's like kind of like, we're very similar people in a lot of ways. Right, we're, we're, yeah. t- we're, we're, we're talented guys, you know what I mean? And that's the reason why we click so much and why we've been friends ever wow. since we first, like you got to think about it, like with the movie that we did, our characters, I don't even think really came in an interaction other than one scene. No. But we gelled on people. 
in between cuts and this stuff. We did, right? Yeah, well, it was, ever since i appreciate that man i appreciate that because i know i mean you know like i said i'm kind of a i'm, I'm a weird cat you know what i mean why do you say that um so why do you say that so, why do i say that yeah so because i'm not yeah go ahead okay. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Tell, why are you weird you say that i don't get it because I, I don't think the way everybody thinks i don't talk Me too. look at the way i talk right? i don't even know what accent i have Me too. like that's one of the <laughs> things that always bothers me because i'm like Okay, when people hear me talk, they don't know, like, I'm a black kid from North New Jersey. Yeah, you know what I'm right, saying? Yeah, right, right, like, right, right. I see what you're saying, yeah. Oh, they don't know I'm an Indian guy, probably... right? My name is John, <laughs> right? Like, when they are at home, people say, people say I, I thought you were something else. Uh, I was like, oh, you don't sound like you, the way you look. And I was like, yes, I was raised here. Yeah, that's funny. You, yeah, you have the same experience, right? When you, people talk to you, probably don't, they don't even Yeah, realize. man. I'm old. I've always marched to my own drum, and this right. this is what helped. Oh my God, we're the same and person. Is, <laughs> exactly, yeah. bro. That's why we click. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we do our own thing. So I don't really care about what's supposed to be in style, out of style, this step, whatever. I pay attention to it. Our style. But if I it doesn't fit with me, right? Absolutely, right. If it's not our style, then I don't mess with it. And that's just bottom line. And everybody should have their own style because there's different genres that pay attention to different things. Yes. So that's the whole point yeah. about what we're talking about. It loops right back around to what we've been talking about. Right. As far as getting the traction to the projects and these movies and these shows and these podcasts. You got to do something that's going to attract the people that they can relate to. And then they'll watch it or either something that they've been imagining about mm -hmm. that they can do. But we can show them on there that, that, that we can do. Right. You know, action movies, whatever. Like, I would love to drive back home right now. Well, I'm home already, but mm -hmm. I would love to be driving and then, you know, maybe somebody pulls up and they're trying to race and then I, I put a brick on the damn, <laughs> I You're put right. a brick on the gas and I jump out the car window and jump in the other car and beat up the other guys oh. and then jump back in my own car and get off at the right exit. I like shoot, that's I going to shoot that right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're talking about like so, it. You know, yeah. To yeah. escape from reality, because bro, right now, let's be honest, reality, <laughs> reality is something else right now, something man. Something else. So I'm happy that we're able to make moments because this is 2020. For anybody that might be watching this video right. way in the future, right? Hopefully, we're still alive to watch the video too. But things is crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? The racial escalation going on right now. You know the coronavirus going on right now. The whole thing with the White House, who people's in and who's trying to get in, who's trying to get everybody right. out, things like that. These so are crazy years, times that we're are. going through, bro. Ne yeah. Exactly. If you, so. if you listen to the news, it will feel like a very negative time to be alive. That's if, you are, if you're just on the news, if you're just things, but like you know, and, and if people are talking about current events, it's not good. Current events are not. And not and that's the reason why I jump social media. I paid attention to current events. Me too. Well, social media, like when this coronavirus said, I had a friend, a very close friend, and um, she's older, and a lot of her friends is old. And when this coronavirus really dropped here in Jersey, like she was just going through her feed and people were dying left and right. It kind of messed me up at head. I'm trying to support her. Right. I just jumped off of social media completely because yeah. like, okay, I don't want to see that. And I don't even mean to be like selfish. Because, like, like for instance, like you, Jonathan, something happened to you, or this, that, whatever. Like, I'm not there. I would jump in. I would scroll for a minute, scroll down the feed, and if I didn't see whatever, then I would jump off. Mm -hmm. So I'm just getting back into that because this is also a perfect time, bro, for you and me. Mm -hmm. Because right yeah. now, with the way everything is paralyzed, people that's been in the background could come out now and get that spotlight. Right. We got all the social media platforms available. We do. So now they can see our talent. Right. That's my plan, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that should be your plan, too. What's that? What's, what's I said, it? and that should be your plan. Yeah, no, it is. It is. And so it's it's done. I, my focus is now creating content, and it's great. And it's like, you know, this is my voice, finally. No, through, no, through Absolutely. no filter. Absolutely. No filter. No filter. I've been waiting for you to get your platform because like i tell you you got a personality that i don't think you recognize no and I, the people that subscribe and view to your channel and view to your shows they do yeah man i don't and this don't even do justice because you're not really wilding out the way you can yeah. and showing everything you know that it, we're going to show you like i said you have unfinished business in the industry i do too yes. they're going to finish it together brother I, what I, you know what i'm saying we got 
Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, we got it. Yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. It, it's like, it's, so, going forward, right? So, you, where, so we have, let's just pretend, okay? Let's, let's do a thought experiment here. We have 18 more months of this. That's, that's a, uh, something I've heard thrown around um, uh, a little bit, and I think it's a good framework to kind of be able to think of things going forward. We got 18, let's, let's say we have 18 more months of this. What are, what should we, what do you want to accomplish with those 18 months? What are we looking for? Like you, you uh, what are you looking to do with these platforms? What would you like to do? Like I could tell you, like you, if you, t if you, t you could throw Twitch on your phone and you could go live anywhere. And if you just walked around anywhere, yo, people would just watch you walking around. Like uh, we got, we built a following of like 170 people like who followed us and we started making money. So yeah, no, the phone didn't. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, no, no, the phone didn't die, and it froze again. It said reconnecting, so. Ah, that's fine. No problem. What's it, What phone are yeah, you I got using? My... You get... Huh? What phone are you using out there? Um, This is, I got Boost Mobile, so, because me and T-Mobile, um, Lord knows. <laughs> okay. As close as I'm going to come to a marriage. And we yeah. finally got a divorce. It was a nasty divorce too. Oh, so right. um, okay. it's the L. Was the LK fifty one? LG LK fifty one? Okay. Oh, no, LG K fifty one phone. Okay. So okay. I don't know. Like I said, my phone's been kind of acting up today. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I don't know if it might either. be the earbuds that I'm using. Yeah. So my bad about that. Yeah. The. I got my. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. What was you about to say? Yeah. I, what was I, you about to say? I'm a. I'm a. I'm an iPhone iphone person because it's just like it's they like yeah. it's it, it just it it the camera is is so good on it and so you're like you're like oh the camera's good the the the, the recording is pretty good and and it always works and there's the number of apps everything works just it just ends up working that's what yeah so doing. Yeah. So every, everybody sleeps on mine like my phone it has the four to five different cameras too um i have a i just got forced to have an iphone now through the day job that I'm going to be doing. So oh, okay. I never want to be honest with you. I'm not a fan. It, it, too many problems, too many leaks, uh, too many, a lot of things. So, gotcha. but yeah, I'm going to have to deal with it now. So it is what it is. Gotcha. Yeah. So, um, okay. Okay. You, you've got a job now where you're able to, you've got the dream. You know, I was literally just having this conversation with my wife. I was telling her about, I was like, you, like, she, most of my dating time with her, she was dealing with me, like, going, just, like, scr like, scrambling for money, scrambling for, like, just, because I was just doing these, I was I've been there. substitute teaching, so, like, she's, you know, like, five years, she was, like, dealing with this, like, me just being, like, I'm substitute teaching, and then I'm, in the summers, I can't find anything that's flexible enough, so I don't, I can't act during the summers most of the time, because, because I can't, like I'll have to Uber or I'll, have, I'll 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 do a temp job or I'll do this I'll do that and it barely pays and then this and that. It was crazy. And now you find you have a job where you make your own schedule. So are uh, this kind of ties into this your future thoughts. Let's talk about the eight, next eighteen months. Where what are, what are we gonna see you do? What are you gonna do with this time? Let's. Um, with that, and let's say if, if it ends, are, so you're going to be, you're, you want to get back into, you're going to be auditioning uh, on the regular, you're going to be doing all that stuff, jumping on casting networks and all, actors access and just hitting that, hitting that all up full on, huh? So tell me, tell me about it. What do you, so what are your plans, man? Yeah. What are you trying to do? So, so it's funny because right before Jersey got locked down with everything, mm -hmm. I had did background work for um, Law and Order, yeah. SVU. So there's supposed to be this new show. I, if anybody that follows Law and Order, um, or they followed it for years, y'all remember the character Elliot Stabler? Of course, was on there. Yes, of course. Um, I'm trying to remember the actual actors. Christopher Chris, Maloney. I'm trying to... Christopher Maloney. There you go. I know. I was a big SVU fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. So he's coming out with his own show. I'm trying to figure out how I could get auditions to be a character on that show. Yeah. Um. But, um, yeah, regardless, you know, like I said, we got the um, Love Under Contract. Right. 
and so that's going that. to be touring. Live so, um, so it will tour. It will tour uh, despite COVID. Right. So I think the very first show in Jersey is going to be live stream. We're going to play it that way until things clear up. Hopefully, something breaks exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's really the only backdrop this year to anything because that's the reason why mm -hmm. I wind up moving the way I was moving. Just to make sure I had the availability to go ahead and do this. And when I need to get out of town or fly out or drive out or whatever we're going to do, because like I said, the production is paying for plane tickets and everything else. Mm -hmm. So it was a big, it's like where we've always wanted to be. You know what I mean? Right. Um, oh, hell yeah. That's so cool. Exactly. I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy for you, dude. That's great. Thank you. Brother. Thank you. So we're just going to see how everything rocks out because we can only play it day by day with this, um, you know, with this pandemic and everything going on, hope everybody's being educated. Make sure you stay safe. My whole saying for this pandemic, stay healthy and wealthy because I have. Hopefully you will too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so your, uh, I want to do, I'm going to go back to this, this future plans thing, but I want to talk about something. You have had, rock solid um push through this you're the you you're you're getting you through act through this acting being a working actor and without dealing you know and 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 now you're you're you're, you're finally getting you know you've had you've had breaks before but you're getting paid you know paid air airfare paid this paid that like a real actor should be like a real touring actor should be what has gotten you through like what? How did you push yourself to, like, get through all the dark times of, like, not getting work? You know how hard, we both know how hard this industry is. This industry sucks, okay? It sucks. It's not fun. We do it to ourselves, of course, but it's hard. What, how'd you get through it, man? How'd you, how'd you do it? You, 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 you've been pushing so long, and you, you've gotten things as a result of that. But how, like, how did you, yeah, how, between those, you know? How is pe people like yourself? Mm -hmm. So I hate when people come to me and be like, hey, legend, hey, you know, what you been doing? You know, you just that whatever. Or people will send me like auditions for certain things or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, at the end of the day, people recognize talent. People recognize your drive, okay. you know, regardless of whatever you go through. You know, a lot of people want to see you succeed. A lot of people just want to see you like, you know, and that's why I say, well, I'm the weird part. It's probably not going to come across to you on this on this podcast or anything like that. But, you know, people who know me personally and be around a whole lot, though some of the things I do is may or way I talk or yeah. some of the things I say might be a little weird. Like that's, it just comes out of left field. I know. I, and some how, people want to see myself. that. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you do, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? That's why I love you, yeah. Deborah. You know, this is the reason why a lot of people are like, yeah, that can see on the platform. So like I always be saying with you, I see your personality. I see your charm. I see your charisma. I don't know if anybody else did, but I can see that on the screen. You just have to get the right opportunity at the right time, and you're good. That's why I tell you never give up in this. I tried to tell my you like tell my childhood best friend Raphael Mateo yes, too. Yes, yes, you mentioned that because yeah. he has all the the thing in the world. But he just came at us. He was already making money in what he was doing before he got into this, and he came into this. He seemed to be us. And he got right back out, and, uh, and I'm and I haven't had contact with him in a while. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, he's done going back into it. Mm -hmm. He's one of the funniest guys you will ever meet in life. That's great. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I see that, and I get tired oh, of rare. it, man, because I grew up with so much talent, but they just didn't get their platform out there. They didn't know the platform to get out there, and and I see these people that's making it like really, that's 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 what's up right now. Mm. That's the big thing. Like, get the hell out of here. Nah. Right. Nah. Uh -huh. Nah. So I'm going to push forward for us, for the uh, the unspoken. I'm right. going to be the voice of the voiceless right. because there's plenty of us that got talent. And trust me, I'll be on my MC Hammer-ish because I think when MC Hammer made it big, one well, of the kind of things that made him fall is because he kept getting everybody that, that he came from. He would bring them in, give them jobs and stuff, whatever. He was supporting his supporters. Yeah. Right. And if that's the way I got to go, that's fine, too. But I'll get in there. And when I get in there, we'll get in there. If you get in there first, hey, I'll add it, brother. That's right. That's right. You're the only person, though, you know, that's left for me, performing-wise, that I... Thank that I, you. 
you're the only person left that I want to even talk to. That I want to talk to. Oh, wow. Like that I'm much. saying I hate hearing you sound like that bitter like that, man. Oh, no. It, because... Yeah, it's bitter. It's bitter, but it's also because you're special. You know? It is. Thank you, man. I'm very careful that. with the people I, I, I spend time. I don't have that much time. You know, I work a lot. I know. Yeah. I can barely catch up with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I work a lot, and I, I you know, try to... I, I don't talk to many people. I talk to... I have phone calls with two or three people, maybe a week, and that's it. I maybe contact... I have maybe three friends total. That's it. That's it. Maybe three. Two or three. But I'm not even, like, that sad about it, really. I was for a while, but I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know how long editing takes? I don't need more friends, all right? <laughs> you know? Right. You know? <laughs> it takes a long time to do this stuff. I need focus, right? And so to talk to you, I I'm happy to, you know? And it's 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 amazing that I finished all of that to see, like, with saying, like, eh, yeah, yeah, no, I know. I still want to talk to you. You know, nobody, like, it's just, it's so, it's so interesting. You're it's so interesting that people tell you that stuff and I'm so happy because I feel the same way about you that these people are saying, I don't know if they're saying the same exact thing, but I feel this way where it's just, you are, you're, you're, you're so special in so many ways because we're just doing this right now. And you, I've done a, I've done a bunch of these and I've done a lot of live streams and I've done a lot of podcasts at this point. And right. I, and did, not everybody's very, not, I've had a lot of guests before too. And when we were doing our live streams, not people are mostly not good at it. Mostly pretty terrible. Okay, mostly awful. Okay, <laughs> mostly awful. Mostly awful. All right, they don't know. But you are. You could. Cl you not only just the your performance because I remember. Look, I have seen you on set, tw twice. Right, the two times that we worked, and I can still picture in my head your performance when you click into performing mode i picture it when you're when you the way, when you're acting on um what when on the last 48 hour i see the character turn on i see the change in demeanor right and that's pretty rare i have i've only met maybe one other person that i really could say could say that about and i've been in a number of productions and all that stuff and they were, you know, it's just, I could see that click. There's a click moment where they're just like not themselves. They're just not them. They become the character, and you have that. But you also have this kind of charisma factor. So I just, that's amazing that people tell you that. Nobody tells me that. I'll tell you that nobody tells me. That. I have. Yeah, but the thing is, but the thing is, so, how, so it's so, nice but, but, that you is, do. How, how, but how many people do you be in front of to show your charisma factor, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know I, ha I feel like I have. They've seen me. Buddies, they got charisma too, so maybe they don't recognize it. I don't know. Yeah, like I grew up, like, um, hey, you know what? We'll we'll test it out. You come and hang with me for one day. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. You come right. And, then, and then we'll we'll find out. You know what I'm saying? We'll yeah. tape some things. I don't think some things should be taped, um, no, no, especially no, no, if you're no. trying to be. Seen. But uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. And trust me. And then I'll let everybody else decide. Yeah. Um, now, fortunately, as far as 2020, no, that's not a fortunately, actually, fortunately, right. 2020, not only have I been doing my acting thing and making money, I've also gone back to being an uncle. So I, I, I'm sorry for pointing there. That's my niece hitting me up because I have to go pick her up go uh, from her meeting with her that's and her friends or whatever the case may be. But um, this is what I want to say as far as we're going. Because you mentioned something about people recognizing that you making your circle smaller. Listen, there's some people that are actually jealous of you that you might not even notice. And that's just because they can see the potential and other people might see the potential. You might get talked about more than they get talked about and they find that funny because they might be in certain levels in their life as far as when, you know, wives and kids and cars and houses. Things like that. They're not happy with their position. Mm. But, you know, they see that you want to be happy and you're trying to strive for certain things and they hate on you about that. That's why I've had to cut my circle small mm. because I would not be where I'm at right now in 2020 if it wasn't for skimming a lot of people off in 2019, to be honest with you. Good idea. 
yeah. So, brother, I want to leave you with saying this. Mm -hmm. You got all the talent in the world. Congratulations. Get your newborn in. Get him settled. Get the wifey settled. Then I need you to jump back out here with me on this. By the time all that happens, trust me, I should have some moves made. And like I said, I don't forget where I come from. And I don't think any of us has. And obviously you have it because I wouldn't be on your show. I'm on your show right now, right? Yep, You're talking right. about everything that I'm doing. I'm on your show right that's now. True. And right. I wouldn't be if you had forgotten about me. And I appreciate it, my man. Trust me. I, mean, I know we went through a lot of trouble even getting this show put up tonight. But I love it. So uh, thank you for the opportunity. Of course. Anyway. Thank you for everything. We got unfinished business. Don't ever sit up there and say it's over. No, bro. <laughs> you know. Um, no, you got all the talent in the world you. and you haven't even shown it to half the world. <laughs> so I want to make sure that that gets done. I haven't either. We'll show no, it together. You haven't. Thank you so Yeah, so well, thank you for now. having me on the Human Review. Yeah. Hell yeah, exactly. So thank you for having me on the Human Review. This is legend Damian Simmons, as you said, D-A-M-I-O-N. I-O-N. I got you on that. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Legend Damian Simmons. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. You can Google me. Right. I come I'll, up in I'll some country. What's that? <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, so I don't know if you ever Googled yourself as far as yeah. you're like whatever All you have. You. Yeah, one year. I remember Googling myself, and I was on like these games. Legend Damian Simmons games. I'm like, what? <laughs> I know. I don't, yeah, it sounds weird. I'll show you next time I see you. Yeah. But um, it's weird. But okay, there's publicity. Like sure. I tell you, any type of attention in our business, publicity awesome. is good publicity. That's good. All right. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. Definitely sure. tune in next time. And love, check out your your. Channel. And love under contract will be on live stream and uh, on you. Uh, I on believe you. correctly. Wow! Look at that. Right, so it's in September. There'll be more information coming up, and I will get that information to you, Jonathan, before you post this, hopefully. Um, thank you so much for giving me the platform. Of course. Not only to speak, because a lot of people don't know what we've been through wow. <laughs> as far as getting it. So thank you for giving me the chance to get that off my chest. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if there's any time yeah, you, so. you want to get anything else off, just tell me. We're, 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 I got if you want to do it publicly, th this is the place to do place to do it i'm gonna try to uh, I'll, I'll let I'll, i'm sorry to, to keep you but i'll try to i'll try to come up with some i'm gonna try to fee, find a way to keep these going um you know in another way but you know i still yeah, I always have the bro. podcast i always can release it so if you ever want to do it and just rap on something yeah, you're like don't. oh i hate these people uh we didn't even get to <laughs> we didn't even get to rag on the people who like that and as much oh. as we wanted to Ooh, there's some people next time Next time. We yeah. got it. Next it feels time. good to have enemies, though, right? It's good to have bad, like it's good to have enemies. Because enemies keep you on your toes. Yeah, they you know do. what I mean? A lot of people sit up there and they think, you know, um, not having any enemies, this, that, whatever. Like, no, sometimes you're blind. Because if you're successful and you have talent, yeah. you're always going to have enemies. And what's a, what's a you good, might not be blind. What's a movie mm -hmm. without, what's, what's, you know, what's... What's Predator without Predator? You know, like you know what I mean. Like, Absolutely right. Like, You're right. You know? Right. Exactly. So I be I be hunting through that jungle. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to take Arnold on my Arnie. Right. Trying to get to the chop. I be trying to get to the chop. That life family. Trust me. <laughs> oh man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Just brother. Stay in touch. I will catch up with you. Absolutely. Thank you all out there watching. Have a great night, y'all. Latest.